I'm Justin Herndon from Raleigh, North Carolina. I drive a 1994 Cadillac Fleetwood. Kita is uh, he's a he's a big deal in the low riding world. Uh, he brought us together, you know, uh, back in the '90s. You know, low riding was uh, you know very you know it was considered you know gangster. Uh, a lot of gangsters had low riders, but uh, Kita tried to change the face of that by allowing you know, and there was a, a lot of color lines. So there was uh, you know black clubs and there was Mexican clubs. Uh, Keita said that uh, he's a Pacific Islander. He said he wanted a, a club for everybody, uh, white, black. It didn't matter your race, didn't matter where you were from. You know, as long as you had love for low riding and uh, you were a good, humble person, then uh, he wanted you in the club. So my first uh, introduction to Keita was, uh, which I knew who he was. Uh, actually, at the time, I was prospecting with Uso. And uh, I had received a message on Facebook, and it was from Kita, and he said, "Hey, Oos, uh, it's a pretty Cadillac. You with the club?" And I said, uh, "You know, actually, I'm prospecting with Usos in North Carolina right now." He said, "Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing, Oos. You pay for it. That's my brother. You're in good hands." And uh, to me, it was a very, very humbling experience because Kita's a legend in the low riding game, and he doesn't lose any clout by not speaking to me, but he actually took the time out to reach out to me and, and, and make sure that uh, I knew I was welcome with Uto and uh, that he appreciated the Cadillac. So it was, a, it, was a, it was a great feeling. I met him for the first time when I was, uh, first time I went to Las Vegas. And uh, you know, I sat and talked to him for a minute and uh, you know, we hugged and uh, you know, that, that was it. So we can see a great impact uh, with the loss of Kita um, through the low rider community. A bunch of people are really coming together. Um, we put a black band across our plaque to honor uh, a fallen member. Uh, generally, it's just for that club. But with Kita's passing, many other, many other clubs have stepped up and put the black band across their plaque to show support for Kita, which is a really big thing and it shows the impact that he's had on the low riding community. So I definitely want to send uh, my condolences to the Leolau family. Uh, I'm glad you um, shared Keto with uh, the world and uh, was able to, um, you know, let his light shine throughout the low riding community. So I want to send my deepest condolences to the whole family. So Ma Margaret, uh, you know, I really, uh, you know, send my, again, my deepest condolences to you guys. And uh, I'm very, very glad that uh, I was able to meet you guys. And, you know, Kita's had an impact on my life. And I hope we're uh, making him proud.
I'm Justin Herndon with Uso Car Club out of Raleigh, North Carolina. I drive a 1994 Cadillac Fleetwood. So my car has a House of Colors hot pink pearl. Um, also has got some 13 by seven uh, chrome and gold wheels. Um, it's outfitted with a rear fifth wheel. Also has a chrome castle grill. Also uh, have a big sliding rag from Legacy Products. So the interior has tan with uh, alligator inserts on the inside. I have uh, Rockford Fallsgate speakers and kick panels in all the doors. Five and a half in the front and six by nines in the rear. Also in the rear deck lid, there's two 12 inch JL audios. Also have the amps, Rockford Fallsgate amps in the floorboards in the rear. So in the trunk, it's the uh, hijacker set up, uh, two pump, six battery, paint and matching batteries with uh, hydro dip, $100 bills, money patterns on the tie downs. Um, it's also got a fifth, fifth wheel in there, a spare tire. Also got mirrors in the deck lid as well. The motor is a stock LT1, trimmed out like a Corvette. It's got some paint and some chrome in there as well. And when I drive the car, it's absolutely crazy, man. Uh, definitely mess up traffic, man. People turning their heads, you know, giving you thumbs up, waving, you know, all, all kinds of stuff, man. The people absolutely love the car. It's, uh, it's a great feeling to drive a car like that. It just, it really catches people's eye. So it's really cool. So, you know, lowriders, we typically name our cars. Um, you know, so when I got the car, I started thinking of, uh, you know, I was trying to think of all these pink cartoon characters so I can name my car, you know, and I, you know, nothing really was sticking out to me. So one day I was standing in the garage with my daughter and she asked if we could go for a ride in the car and it was actually raining at the time. And I said, look, if it's, if it's not raining tomorrow, we can go for a ride. And she never says this, but that day she said it, she said, Pinky Promise. And from then, I just knew that would be the name for the car, so it stuck with it, and uh, that's why I named the car. So I got, I got my car, uh, I found it uh, on Craigslist. I was actually searching for a house because I needed to move, and I had always wanted a lowrider, which I was, uh, you know, since I was a kid, but I was never able to actually afford one, so, I got back from this trip that I was on and I had to find a house. So in the search for a house, I said, well, let me just punch in Lowrider and see if, what I could pull up. And the uh, first thing that pulled up was the, the Pink Fleetwood and uh, caught my eye right off, right off gate and uh, reached out to the owner, a gentleman by the name of Tim House at the time, and asked him if he was interested uh, in a trade. And he asked me what I had. I told him I had a Harley Davidson. I said, well, if you say anything other than Harley, I wouldn't be interested. Send me pictures and I'll, I'll see what we can do. So I sent him the pictures. We talked on the phone and he said, let me talk to my, my lady and see if she's interested in it. And uh, if so, then we can go forward with it. So I'll give you a call back tomorrow and let you know. So that was on a Sunday. And uh, the very next day, I, it was about 5 p.m. And I hadn't heard anything back from Tim. So I said, let me call this guy and see if he's interested. So I called him and uh, said, hey man, well, what are your thoughts, you know? What did she say? And he said, well, she actually likes the deal. Let's do it. When can you bring me the bike? I said, well, I, I won't be able to bring it till Saturday. I work, you know, Tuesday through Saturday. So I said, when I get off work on Saturday, I'll jump on the bike and drive it to you, and then I'll, I'll just drive the car back home. He said, man, that's too long to wait, man. Let me, let me see if I can get a trailer, and I'll bring you the car tomorrow. So he called me back the next day, said, hey, man, I got a trailer, and I'm going to come, I'm going to bring you the car. So he brought me the car, and uh, it was everything he said it was. And uh, we did the deal, and you know it's, it's been nothing before it since then. So, so yeah, uh, being a part of USO has definitely made me a, a, a better person. Um, when you're around so many amazing people, it only makes you strive to be better. Whether that's with the cars, whether that's in your family life, whatever it is, it's all about love, being humble, showing love, and and you know, teaching other people how to lead by example.